Hello everyone, this is Weather Miss, and welcome back to Season 2 of Hardcore Minecraft Episode 15. So last time we did a ton more digging, and I'm I'm about ready to just, just stop. <laughs> um, we ended off in this little cave because we were about to get attacked by some stuff, and so that's where we're leaving off now. So I gotta let you know guys, I'm pretty sure I'm making, I'm making an important decision today. And that decision is, I'm going to strip mine, because that seems to be... The only way that I'm going to be able to get some diamond um, because I'm having absolutely no luck with finding it so um, here was the plan that I was thinking of um, I was gonna go ahead and try and strip mine for diamond and I'll still show you the the video clips of it and I'll just fast forward it I guess that way you just know that this is the mining session and it's not gonna be the most entertaining thing in the world to just sit there and mine and so I don't want to um, do that <laughs> you know just record me strip mining because that's not that's not fun so um, I'm probably just gonna do a sped up version of it so you can just see uh, what's happening what I pick up we'll we'll take a before and after of like what all we grab and stuff like that uh, that being said, if I am planning on strip mining, that means I need to find the proper location to do that. And so that just means I need to get really far down. So to do that, I need to check my coordinates. And um, earlier I've been mentioning that I don't really want to use coordinates, but I think I've used them a couple times, and so it's kind of like whatever. Um, so right now I'm pretty low. I'm at about 12. And so I think that I can either work with this location or I can go somewhere else. Um, and work with that location just because um, this is actually quite far away from my uh, this is really far deep into the cave so it's very far away from my home there's creeper and so I don't know if I want my strip mine to be that far away like this is really good to explore and stuff like that and I really enjoyed going through it and you know finding all the different things but they just haven't given me any diamond that I want so I'm going to try and go back towards the beginning of my cave, and then I'm going to try and work out something where I can be low enough to start my strip mining session. So for strip mining, I want to be where, um, I think I want to be at about level 9, um, at least that's what I've done previously. I don't know if things have changed um, since the last time that I've done strip mining or anything like that. Um, that's just the way that I've mined previously so that's what I'm gonna stick with and um, we'll go from there so it looks like uh, this is the big arena area I think if you remember where I fought all the monsters um, I don't know Ooh, let me eat because I need to food um, I think this is pretty close um, it's still a little far away from the top of my cave so it's still um, a little bit of a walk but I think um, actually it's not that bad because I remember this is about where, yeah, this is where our entrance is. So it's actually not terrible. Um, so what we'll do then is we will go ahead and let's start down here. Um, and then we'll go into this cave piece because I think if I remember correctly, this actually ended over here and didn't have anything else. Did it? Am I losing my mind? I don't remember. <laughs> um, oh, it keeps going down, down, down. Um, yeah, it ended here. I don't remember if there's anything back here. I think this uh, loops to something bigger. Oh, this is the or loops to a piece of the ravine. Okay, um, mm -hmm. so I mean it might just have to work down in the ravine, you know, the ravine, or the bottom of the ravine actually is closest to the bottom, as I think as we've gotten, so if that'll work, um, we'll just, uh, we'll just work with that I think. Let's, finding the starting location is going to be interesting, just because I want to make sure I find the right spot to do this in. Um, this still goes toward, where does this go to? goes up but I want to know where oh this is the uh, back to the arena um okay so here's what actually you know what we're gonna do we're gonna build down from here um and then kind of kind of go from there so this is the 
we'll just call this the arena from now on and um, it does have the cave corridors here and we're just going to um, start going down here and go with it so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna build a stairway down to level um, 9 and then I'm just going to probably carve out a little bit of a, a little square just so it's like I'll probably move my crafting table and my furnace down to that little area kind of like it's like a little starting corridor um, and then go from there so what I'm gonna do um, from this point is I will strip mine uh, I'll have a strip mine session and then I will come back and tell you guys what all I grabbed and all that information. Alright guys, real quick I just want to show you what I have here. So I'm at level 10 and this is about where I'm going to be mining. The most common places to mine for diamond is um, between layers uh, 11, or I'm sorry, 5 and 12. Um, but it, the lower you go, the more likelihood you have a chance to get. Um, lava lakes and so I want to try to avoid those as much as possible so I like I said I like to dive at um, a specific part here which is uh, around the, a level 10 and I'm gonna be digging up to 12 and so I usually also like to dig at 9 and then build a 3 high corridor um, so I might do that as well and then we're just gonna we're just gonna keep doing that and see how far we go and um, right now this is what my inventory looks like as far as things um i'm going to go ahead and actually you know what i'm just going to create a quick chest here um i want to keep track of everything that i've gotten from strip mining so um i'm going to go ahead and throw in my iron and gold ore uh, let's keep my ingots with me that way i can create as i go and then also my redstone oops my redstone my lapis um all these other blocks that i'm not going to need i also want to try and uh open up my inventory as much as possible because I'm going to be collecting a lot of cobble from my mining session and so the less I have in here the better um, I am running out of torches so as I go along I'll make sure to grab coal for them torches and this should be about good so um, once I'm done with my mining session then I will look back in my inventory and show you what I got Ladies and gentlemen, after some mining, I think for about 25 minutes or so, I finally have five diamond. Oh my god, I finally have five diamond. Five is good. That's enough for me to craft a sword. Or I'm sorry, not a sword. I don't need a sword. Craft a um, enchantment table as well as a pickaxe. So I can craft a pickaxe. I can get that. Try to get that fortune, that efficiency, or whatever I need in order to get more diamond. And... Um, yeah, so we're at a good spot right now. I haven't gotten back to do anything with it yet. Um, I was continuing to mine to see if I can find some more and didn't, did come across this little, uh, lava pool slash cave system. And so I figured it would be really cool just to check this out really quick. Um, just because I need a little break from the actual st strip mining process. Like I said, I, I don't like strip mining. I find it very boring. So... Every once in a while, I just like to have a little little break from it all. So I'm just going to go ahead and mine out some of this material here that I'm seeing. Um, which, if you look here, I've already dropped off some iron and some gold, some redstone and lapis from my mining session. This is what I have now. Um, I've gotten quite a bit of material from that. I haven't um, done a whole lot of grabbing of the irons and the coals <laughs> it's been mostly every single time I see lapis or redstone I grab that for sure but as far as the iron and the coal I kind of just skip it for now and now I can come back to it later um, so yeah I've been sticking to the redstone and lapis because the experience on it is really good um, I want this redstone or I at least want to mine it and get the experience I don't necessarily need the redstone itself 
Um, anyway, so let's just go through here. Oh, what do you know? More diamond. Now you get to actually see me mine diamond the way that I want to mine diamond naturally in a cave, and that's great. So let me quickly mine out this iron and let's take a look at this vein here so it looks like um there's three up here nothing cat i hear skeleton i hear monsters i'm a little worried uh, i think we're okay though all right so um diamond here it looks like let's dig around it just to see what is here um, does it go down another? It does. Awesome. So that's more diamond. Yes, this is a really good vein. It's not the best, but it's it's good. I've come across one diamond before, and it's been very annoying. <laughs> so this is a very a pretty good vein. All right. So it looks like there's six here. We'll go ahead and mine this out, and voila, more diamond. I'm so excited because now we are getting to the point where we can. Uh, the more diamond we collect, the more better, the best armor we can make, the tools and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm really excited. Finally, come across diamond. I had to do it the strip mine way, which in ep, but that's okay. You know, um, this is episode 15. I think if I remember my last series, it was episode 19 where I found diamond, and that's when I found it. Um, I didn't find that one strip mining. I found it through, uh, caving, and um. So it's, it's about the same time that it usually takes me to find diamond, I guess. Um, so I guess that's, I'm consistent. Well, I found a little bit earlier this time, only because of the strip mining, I would guess. All right, so there is some cavage going on here. So I think I'm going to just take a little detour and take a look at that. Uh, we can kind of explore it a little bit before we keep doing our strip mining session. Um, Ooh, oh, there's an ender guy. Uh, oh, what's his Enderman? Oh, there's a giant. Oh, oh god, lots of things happening right now. Um, this is huge. There's a bunch of stuff here. Let's uh, walk away a little bit. Get over here. So we can prepare to fight these guys. Oh, we hit both of them. Sweet. Ouch! Oh, okay. Um, cool. Let's fight some more zombies, because that seems like fun. Ooh, I need food. I don't even know if I have any more bread. Or anything like that. What the hell was that? Um, I don't really have any bread. So let's, uh, put that on pause for now. And, uh, go back and, uh, get some food. Because we definitely need that before we do any continuing. I have some carrots. But, uh, another little cave thing. But they don't give me a whole lot. I see a light over there. Ah, oh, dang. Let's go. Let's go before my curiosity is going to get me killed. Like, literally get me killed. So let me really quickly... Oh, I have an apple as well. Eat some carrots. Just to help get my health up. And then, um, we'll dump off a bunch of stuff into my chests and go from there. Alright, I am back to my little hidey hole and um, I have, this is a, all this, pretty much all the stuff that I gathered from our mining session. It, there's a ton of it. I need to get rid of this cobblestone in some way because I don't need it all. Um, so I think I'm just going <laughs> to build a little hole and dump it in there and then not go back for it because I don't I really don't need it oops I didn't mean to drop the coal in there that's for sure let's get rid of all these all of this 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 there we go this this um dump this into my inventory blah blah blah, blah so much and I will keep a stack I think of cobble and that way I have blocks if needed to close off stuff. But dump that. Okay, dump that, dump that, and dump that. Okay, that should be good. And I'm going to go ahead and close this off. 
Uh, okay, so I have a ton of redstone, and in order, I'm going to actually um, start. Go ahead and start smelting some of this iron. I'm going to come back down here and explore that cave. So I'm going to work with this furnace and crafting table for now. Um, and I'll go ahead and dump some of this in there. Keep some with me so I can create some tools if I need to. Uh, let's go ahead and take this redstone and I'm going to condense it down into redstone blocks. Uh, because it takes up less space when it's in redstone block form. Do, 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 do. And that should be good like this. Oh, I forgot a little stack over here. Alright, perfect. Redstone block form. Um, I might do that with iron at some point. I think I'm fine with that, so I don't really need to. Um, okay, so the next step is to... I'm going to lay this stuff down here. Oh, I have a total of 11 diamonds. That's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I didn't mine out this lapis. I need this. I need this for the enchanting. I'm going to go ahead and go up and get some food. And then I have a feeling that... Um, either this episode or next episode, not sure yet. I'm gonna go ahead and start creating the crafting table, no, not the crafting table, <laughs> the enchanting table and all that good stuff uh, to get ready for the enchanting of the things. And um, I definitely wanna try and get uh, my diamond pickaxe to have some sort of uh, efficiency or s not silk touch fortune because that way I, when I mine out the diamond, I'll have more of it. So um, I, that's my goal next, to try and see if I can get fortune on it. I have 35 levels, which means I can get some really good enchants on my tools. So I'm not really worried about that. That's what happens when you don't find diamond for a while and you can't enchant anything is your levels just tend to build up. And I've noticed that when I mine, do the strip mining stuff and find a lot of materials that I've been getting a lot of experience that way as well. So um, the more that I go through those caves, fight monsters, and do all that fun stuff. I'll just keep gathering more and more experience. So, um, I'll be able to put better enchants on my, on my things. So, let's keep going up here, and we are back home for the first time in a very long time. Oh, mutton. Perfect. It was already in the furnace, in the oven, ready for me to eat. It was perfect. Perfect timing. Um... What else do I have in here that I need? I don't think there's anything in here. Uh, I don't think I put any food in there, so that's okay. That's good to go. Drop some of that off there. I do think I need more food. So um, I'm going to go... Ooh, is it turning nighttime or turning daytime? It's turning daytime. Perfect. Okay. First of all, sheep, I want your... Uh, food do I have oh, I don't have any wheat on me at the moment let's go check out the farm really quick see where we're at um, it's looking pretty good not too shabs uh, our sugarcane farm is insane absolutely insane there's a zombie hold on I'm distracted let's get this guy first hiya hooya hiya all right and he's gonna burn up so I'm not worried about him but let me get a hit on him Ouch! No! Stupid fires. Alright. Eat this. Let's get some of this uh, sugar cane. Gotta make sure we have enough for the level 30 enchants. You have to have a freaking bookshelf mania going on before you can do any of that. Oh, shoot. You're not. You're in the shade, so you're gonna be okay from the sun. Ouch. There, gotcha. Ooh, you dropped a bow. Lovely. Let me put this here because I accidentally destroyed some of my sugar cane. Grab these. Perfect. I need leather, though. Oh, no. I am so behind on leather. This is not good. I've been so focused on all these other things, and the leather is just not uh, crap. I need the leather for the books, and I don't have it. Oh no, um, let me go in here. I'm pretty sure I have wheat in here. I'm gonna grab the wheat, breed the cows, start getting that going. I have one leather, 
I have one wheat. What is happening? I have like no materials or not the materials that I actually need. You know what? Bone meal. Grabbing that. That's important. I'm going to use that bone meal to, uh, uh, to grow my crops. I'm going to take this zombie flesh with me and go back to the village and see what I can uh, trade there, work with them. Um, I'm also going to look around the village to, at the villagers to see what they have to offer because I never actually did that and I think that's really important, especially the librarians because they have a chance to drop mending and I really want mending because um, it will allow us to basically whenever we mine something with experience, whatever we're holding will gain experience or gain its health back. So like a pickaxe for example, that it's worn down if I keep mining with it and I mine stuff that drops experience like redstone or lapis, then I will uh, regain its durability. So that's a really good enchantment to have when you're doing strip mining because I've gone through so many iron pickaxes just um, within the past last session because of how much I dug. So it's just really good to have that durability up on that. All right, bust out the seeds and replant. Do, 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 do. All right, things are going well so far. There's a little spider guy. He's not, he's neutral right now, so we'll just kind of leave him alone. <laughs> He'll be our friend for now. He'll be, uh, how about Joe? Joe the spider. Okay, so that's growing. I still have plenty of bone meal, so I'm just going to go ahead and whack that on here and uh, just grow this stuff that way I can get my wheat faster which means I can have plenty of it to make for foods or for breeding okay not the most efficient way to do this ba boom ba boom alright so this one's all done I think yeah I believe I have enough bone meal to do this entire thing one more time. By one more time, I mean this time because I don't think I have any more after that. <laughs> um, and then uh, we can save the bone meal for later. Okay, so now we're ready to cut this down again. And then we'll go down and breed our cows first because we want to do that. And then we will um, eat or make the rest, or not the rest of it, we'll make a good chunk of it for bread, for foods. Alright, it's about noonish, so that's plenty of daylight, I think. Do I have enough? I don't have a whole lot of bone meal left, so we're not going to uh, quick, quick grow these. Um, there's Joe the spider. Let's go ahead and head back to this village. We're going to take a peek at what some of these dudes have to offer while we still have some time and um, see see what see what the story is because if they can ha offer like the librarians have books that they can give me that's better um, Ooh, I wonder if you're a butcher I think yeah so he's a butcher which I don't really want a butcher He's Nimwit, Nimwit, and then there's a cleric. Okay, so he can give me, or is it Rotten Flesh? Nimwit, another cleric, more Rotten Flesh. Um, another Nimwit, oh my lord, where are the, all the good, useful villagers at? Cleric, cleric. So, so far, <laughs> just clerics <laughs> and a butcher, which we don't really need. Um, no, that's not, that guy doesn't do anything. Uh, and nobody in here, probably because they can't get in there. Nobody in there. Anybody in here? No? In there? No? And yeah, probably no one in here, because can't get in here either. Okay, so we really don't have a whole lot of options. Our, our village sucks, basically. <laughs> it doesn't have anything really I mean I guess I could ooh, that's a pretty good deal for for rotten flesh 37 um, I guess we could build up emeralds and try and find another village to work with 
um, you have a 40. I'm pretty sure the only clerics I saw were 40 and 39, aside from that one other one, and it was 37. So I think he's the best. He's 40. I think he's the the best deal um, for one emerald. So we're going to do that. We have the zombie flourish. Yeah, he's the 40 guy. He's the 37. So let's go ahead and trade in one. And then... He's going to do his little glow thing, I think, right? Yeah. So the next level. One emerald equals one redstone. <laughs> wow, those are the worst deals ever. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm going to... I already have all this stuff. Okay. So uh, I got to get more zombie flesh in order to trade with him again. See what his next levels are. Um, so that's a bust. These villagers are not that great. We're going to have to see if we can find another village, perhaps... Um, if we want to, to get those, uh, like, better th trades and stuff like that. I would like to have a librarian. That way I can get all the books, potentially get mending and all that stuff. Or what I could do is I can um, breed them. And they might even do that themselves. I might, I could always try and make a farm too to breed them and um, get new things. But I'm pretty sure when you breed them, you only get the actual... Um, like the villagers that breed I could be wrong about that though I don't know a whole lot about villager breeding so I uh, I don't know about that um, but we're at a pretty good spot right now um, like I said I don't have a whole lot of I don't have really any um, leather for books so that's the only that's a limiting factor for the enchantment table because it won't let me get the best po possible enchants and so um, we're just gonna have to work with that for now let me just make this a little bit bigger so I can see and then I also wanna uh, I think I have a ladder do I have a ladder just so I can get down there and do what I need to do but yeah at this point it's mostly getting leather <laughs> um, I don't have a ladder so I gotta make one so uh, that's that's pretty much where we are as far as that goes because I think I'm going to go ahead and make my pickaxe though um, for that my diamond my first diamond pickaxe heat of the game and then um, go from there so let me just quickly put this out here for my cows they can't climb it sorry but it helps me getting in and out will you get out of the way I'm trying to play. Thank you. Jeez. Okay, I don't think they can climb that. Right? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger again. There. That's, that's good enough. Alright. So, that's that. We're at a pretty good spot right now. So, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, finish this off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Minecraft Hardcore Mode Season 2 Episode, what is this, 15? And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.